what we have here is a 19, early 1950s Craftsman lathe made by King Seely. I picked this up for $100 without the motor. And I tried to talk him down a little bit, but he was pretty insistent on the $100. He had some other offers, he said. And, and I got him to throw in some chisels with it. So he had a, a set of cheap Chinese-made chisels. He, and I didn't have any any chisels or gouges or anything. So that for me, that was... Uh, that was a good deal, you know, at least he threw in that and I felt a little bit better about paying the, the, the full price he was asking. But I think for the condition it's in, it doesn't need any, any work on it at all. It had all the original parts and pieces. I think that was a pretty good deal. Here's the original dead center that came with it. And here's a, another one to screw in for smaller projects. We're going to screw it in the, the base. This part goes on the end, the end cap here, on the headstock. This kind of resistance fit fits in place there. Got the original tool rest, and that's all in good condition. I got, I just got this live center. It's a, a Grizzly live center. Paid, uh, I think, around twenty dollars for that, so it was affordable, not too bad. And this is a Morris Taper One lathe so it's on a smaller side it's a nine inch I'll be able to uh, turn handles that's the main thing I got it for and to work on some bowls and, and small projects so I think it's gonna be perfect for that and didn't didn't break the bank that's for sure all right well I thought I'd do a voiceover for this part and try that out and I'm showing you how I assembled the base for the motor and I made it a base out of three quarter inch plywood and to hold it down, I decided to use a serpentine belt I took off of the Honda Pilot after I changed that out. So this is just an old serpentine belt that was all cracked, but uh, definitely still strong enough to hold this motor down, I figured. So you can see me here screwing it in on the one side, and I'm using some old screws that I had saved, of course, like always. And uh, they were flathead screws, so struggling a little bit to get those into the plywood right here. It kept slipping off and I then resort to my large vintage flathead screwdriver which works great got it a flea market use it all the time and here you can see me using a quick clamp to hold the strap in place to hold it tight against the sides of the motor after I secured the one side I put the clamp on and then I was able to screw in the other side of that belt down into the base and keep it pretty tight doing it that way. You can also see that the step pulley is on backwards here and that step pulley came with the lathe but I found it was not the right size for this shaft and I made a bushing out of a copper pipe and that worked okay but it was still it was still out of true a little bit and it was wobbling so I decided to, to order a, uh, a step pulley that actually fit for this size shaft and you'll see that here coming up. So here's the new step pulley I ordered, and I'm, I'm attach, reattaching it um, to the lathe, and I had to move the base a little bit closer to the lathe because of the way it was situated. And I have this on an old table that I found on the side of the road. It's a pine kitchen table, and that worked great for mounting the lathe and for the motor. It gives me plenty of room, and I don't mind just screwing right into the top of it. And Shortly here you're going to see me firing it up for the first time with the new step pulley. And I'm going to also show you what it sounds like at a couple different speeds. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it. That'll do it for this video. Click thumbs up if you like this video and think about subscribing. I'm gonna be doing a shop tour video pretty soon. And this shop is fairly new. I put it together a few months ago. And I'm gonna share with you a lot of the vintage tools I've collected, 
uh, searching through Craigslist and flea markets and things like that. So um, that I'll look forward to that. That's coming up. I have a lot of different projects that are kind of in the works. I'm in the middle of right now, and I have some some uh, videos in the can. And I'll also be doing some more guitar-related videos. Also doing some some more lessons and different songs um, that I've been meaning to to put videos up for and haven't had time for a while. So um, look for that too. So thanks and take care and uh, see you next time.